welcome to the first tutorial of Vpack for SketchUp. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create walls in a very quick and easy way. Let's start. First, we have to select the wall icon in the toolbar of Vpack. Once we have selected it, we need to type the desired thickness of the wall. In this case, we're going to put it at a thickness of 25 cm. For this, we type 0.25. Please note, decimals can be either with a comma or point, depending on the language settings of your computer. This can be easily changed in the control panel. Once we have introduced the thickness measurement, we confirm it by pressing Enter. Now click on the model space and indicate a direction by dragging your mouse. In my case, I select to go along the x-axis, and in the measurement box I type 11, and then press Enter. Now we have the first wall of 11 meters. As you can see, the bag automatically continues the wall, so you only need to indicate a new direction. Once the direction is indicated, you can type a new length. Here, the next wall is going along the y-axis, and so I type 4.8 and press Enter. We keep doing the rest of the walls following the same steps. Always indicate in direction, we type the length and hit enter. Now we go along the y axis, we type 2.5 and press enter. Now the x axis again, 2.3, enter, the y axis, 2, enter. This last exterior wall, I'm going to make it in a different way. I lock the direction with the shift key, and then I line it up with a reference line to the edge of the first wall. I click on that edge to finish the exterior wall. To conclude this part, I'm going to create an interior wall of the same thickness. Starting from this corner, I type 1.2 and enter. Finally, I press escape to detach from the wall. Now I'm going to introduce a new thickness measurement for the interior walls, which is 0 0.1 and press enter. I click on this corner to start the new wall, but as you can see, this one doesn't line up with the existing wall. To change this, I press the tab key to modify the anchor point of the interior wall. Now I'm going to press shift key to line it up with this reference. Now I create a new wall starting from this point, I press the tab key to change the anchor point and drag it all the way up. As you can see, the bag automatically corrects the intersections between the walls. Now I drag from this point all the way up and click. Now we're going to see the parallel wall tool. I can change its thickness if I want and then I can select this wall drag it down and type 2.3 and press enter. Now I select this one below and type 0 0.6 and press enter. Also this has an interesting feature which allows you to select another wall, drag it and if you double click it applies the previous selected distance which was 0 0.6. Now I select a new tool called extend wall tool and click on this wall and drag it to this one. To conclude this tutorial, I just have to show you that the rubber tool of SketchUp with the back and pressing Alt key will eliminate selected walls and will correct the intersections automatically. We have just created the walls in a very fast and easy way. We will meet again soon. Until the next debug tutorial, see ya!